Good morning, good morning everybody. Do you have a set of Peria Halos on your trucks? You're wondering, what are those? Automatic tire inflation system for your drives on a tractor trailer and for your trailers. If you don't have them, stay tuned, we'll show you how to install them. We're gonna put them on this Pete 379 we have right here. As you can see, we don't have anything on here but hubcap covers. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back and show you how to install on them. Come over here and perform for me no. Come on in Give me the, give me the no. Baby boy, stay on my mind no. Just give me the light Come on in Give me the, give me the In a real life, I am the DJ So me take up the mic and then say Just give me the light and pass the joy Make you feel like you're in control Yeah, let me know my sides and I got to know Catch my flow, cause I'm in the vibes and I got my dough Make you feel like I'm in a cold Girl, I'm looking hype and I got to know Make the trumpets blow Shake that thing, miss Can I, can I shake that thing, miss And I better shake that thing, yeah Donna, Donna, Jordi and Rebecca Woman, shake All right, everybody, when you are installing the halos, first thing you have to do if you have a truck like this that has these caps on it, you've got to get these caps off. And downside, you can't really get a screwdriver in there good. So get your pry bar and just kind of back it off of these nuts. These are your ones on your wheel seal flange. Pull these off now. This one was actually on Kind of loose this one here is actually on tight so as you can see that's kind of hard so we're gonna get us a little hammer just not much room to work with here to try to get it to find a spot to get it in to be honest as you can see it is super tight trying to get it in but you just have to be able to get a little bit to work it then you just work your way around and just find it in between the studs <laughs> and then just keep working it around and then this cap comes off because all this does is actually just this just pushes up up against the nut flanges and then that is what actually holds this together and holds that in so that is the one thing you have to do to put the halos on now when you order these you spec them out. Now, when you order a set of halos, they're gonna ask you, they're gonna want your measurements. They're gonna want the distance from like, to I think the flange here to the edge here. They're gonna wanna know your distance that you have on your flanges right here. They're gonna wanna know whether you've got, I believe it's five eighths or three quarter inch studs. They're gonna want ask you all this information. Like I say, they wanna know the distance from here out to the tire, they wanna know from here outside because you want to get your halo specced so that they sit inside the rim i've seen halos that stick out all the way out to literally like this far outside that is easy to get swiped have a tire in the road hit it knock it off trucks that pull on these very narrow scales at these shippers and receivers that's easy to get it knocked off and hit it and then bam now it's ripped off so when you spec them, you try to spec them so the plates fit, so they give you the right plates to mount them so they fit inside of your rim and inside the tire so they're not sticking out. So make sure you fill out that spec sheet when you do that, y'all, because that's very important to do. Now, I'm gonna do something different here, y'all. I actually have <laughs> chrome axle covers here I'm putting on the truck. Now granted, the truck actually had push-on lug nut covers, but I want the entire kit covered. So, you know, that's something that I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to contend with because with these covers here, you have to be able to fit the halo. So I would actually have to cut these about like this because I want it to actually cover everything but still have the halos attached. So I'll have to, take and put these on and then I'll have to notch around so that it perfectly fits because you know 
granted the halos I, I bought the chrome covers i'll show you on just a minute on everything on this but i want to be able to cover all of this plus this and it'll have the actual screw on instead of the push on caps which always come off they get loose and we're i've got the screw on caps that screw on so you don't have to worry about them coming off don't have to worry about this flying off so much easier so much better and it'll be a, a total cosmetically clean look y'all so stay tuned and i will show you the rest we've got our flange so one thing that you need to know about this freaking flange luckily since they've changed the design it's riveted here and as you can see here so this will fit in any direction so it doesn't matter which four bolts you put this on since they've changed the design of this so you don't have to line it up perfectly with the valve stems you just stick it anywhere and this these grooves will fit in these grooves no matter how you turn it so you just pick any four bolts that are directly across from each other and you have to take these bolts off luckily i've got a 24 millimeter bolt and a breaker bar so you break these bolts free got that one we'll hit this one directly across <laughs> now you'll have the all the other bolts holding it in so you know you're good it's not you're not going to leak all your hub oil out because um, you've got everything else you still got what two four six eight you still got four more bolts holding it so we go for them so now we go for these two here basically every other bolt that one now we'll hit this one pull this one up <laughs> okay so got that now we'll go on to our socket and remove these four bolts how to get one of these installed and then we'll show you the finished product we don't have to show you all four we're just going to show you how one of these works okay everybody so this isn't the prettiest cut but i've got my i got my covers mounted on i got my lug nut covers now i had to go ahead and put the bracket on first because as you can see this lip right here that's stopping it yes this isn't the prettiest cut i was trying to do it if i had a clamp yeah, if I had a, a desk clamp where I could clamp this in good, but trying to hold it and get a good clean cut, I don't have one. And you know, my shop saw is it big enough for it, so I had to use a grinder to grind around. And of course, part of it got right there, but that's beside the point. Either way, you can mount these covers, but you have to trim them to that edge of the cover. Basically, to here, we'll trim. Okay, now you mount it. Of course, it has you the direction of the rotation. So, you know, as your tires are rolling forward. You need to keep that in mind y'all so this mark the direction of the tires rotation and you can put this up and you'll see you got these grooves here these grooves here it'll fit into those grooves and you want to line it up so that your hose bib comes out and then comes up to here and then it comes up to right there so you know you may have to move it just a tad you know a notch over so we know it fits and it'll go against the cover and granted there's a little bit of gap because it has to be gapped unless you notch out unless you perfectly figure where you're going and you notch out for the bolt holes because as you can see you know, this sticks back a little bit further you can trim this a little bit closer to the edge but it is what it is y'all so either way put your bracket in first um, then we'll go ahead and we'll Get these tightened down. So I believe we can fast forward this part right here. You know, y'all don't need to see me wrenching these things down. So hey, we'll fast forward this part. All right. And now we've got these tightened. I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm just giving it to make sure it's about as tight as what it did when they came off. 
Okay, now we have those on. Like I said, now we can take our halo. We line that up. You can fill, the, fill it in the notches. You'll actually fill it, catch, in a notch. Of course, like I said, you want to line it up so the hose comes out, so we may need to move it a notch. Then we'll just put that just to hold it for now. We won't worry about tightening this right now um, until we can get our hose on. And of course, it's got these caps on it. So these caps, I believe you would have to take these off. These bad boys are hot yeah I don't think these would be good yeah these won't work to go onto these so yes you definitely have to take these off okay and we screw these on I guess it's good when the tires are up like this where you can get it started as you can hear it you heard it hiss and then it stopped so then you got your tool here. Oh, let's move some of this stuff over here. Get it in somewhat shade. So then once this is in, you know, you just pull this in. Up. Back side. Pull it in and then you tighten it on. Let's see, righty tighty. There we go. That's why I was going the wrong way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Just pull back, get it in the grooves. Because, let's see, when I get down lower, you can maybe see this better. Because, you see this is notched right here. It's got notches in it. And of course, the hose end right here has notches. So you pull it and you set it into the groove like that. That way it locks it in and then you can turn it. So you just stick on the back side, you pull it into a groove, you tighten it down, pull it out, put it back, tighten, put it into a groove, turn it. So, you know, granted this is a slow process of getting it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, wrong way, dummy. Righty tighty lefty loosey, but I gotta remember I'm coming from the back side, so I have to reverse do this in reverse. But these grooves is actually a much better way of getting this on than before, than the old way that they had. Where you just take a wrench and you're trying to get it. That was a pain in the butt to be honest. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, yeah, that way. <laughs> you know, sometimes you forget which direction you're going on this stuff. You just keep on until you get it nice and snug and you feel it not going anywhere. Then on this one here, you do the same thing, you put this on, and as you can see, we are a tad tight right here. So that's why these new notches are absolutely cool on this new design. Then you can just move it over a couple notches till you've got a nice, good, clean bead on it. And then put it back in and you can see it's in the notch. Now, with these here, I always have these facing out. Now, one thing about those, well, actually, I need to face them up. So you can twist this a little bit before you tighten it down. Um, because I have tire pressure monitoring systems that are gonna go on these where I can always see what my tire pressure is. So I'll put the tire pressure monitor system on that. Then I'll always be able to know what the, what the tire pressure is at all times. Just to double check, make sure the halos are doing its job. Then the same thing, you just take on here. Well, these are the bigger ones, okay. 
Well, the big big tool will not work on this one. Okay, it works on the valve stems, but not on the big ones here. I guess they figured you can get a wrench on these yourself and hand tighten these from outside, easier to reach instead of inside. So, yeah. But, uh, that's actually good and tight. Now, for this hose, I'll have to do the same thing. I'll have to reach in and pull those stems off because these stems will not work so as you can see it's not easy to get to but you know what I have a tool I think can work for that in my trucks they all have glad hand lock seal cutters tire pressure gauge and a valve stem Tighten the removal and a chuck here. So let's see if we can get this on. Maybe we can get that screwed off. And there we go, we got it. So, yes, this works good for being able to get inside those hard to reach places, y'all. Hey, great investment. Amazon, not that expensive. So then with this, you just take, you screw it on. It's easier to do it like this to get it going <laughs> and push it and twist it to try to get it going and, you know, just kind of push and turn until you get it twisted some because, you know, this here is going to take a little time. Of course here, righty tighty lefty loosey is hey in your direction so you know you're good but i guess you can put it on hold it on like this until you get it twisted on nice and tight pull back and now you put this one in we'll turn this to the direction that i need it to be i say let's turn the hose a little more Screw this in, screw this up. Okay, now that we've got these mounted, now we can kind of play with the hoses a little bit because you see the hose is laying up on this. So now we can loosen this, pull this, twist it maybe, you know, in a direction or two till you get to see exactly how you want it. Either way, I think the other one's gonna rub and lay on this. So, you know, it's all a matter of how tight you want this one and, and how direction, but it does give you options, y'all. Um, it'll give you stability. This one here, I think, either way, looking at it, it's going to be about the same amount that's going to be touching on this. Okay. Yeah, I think once the tires get rolling, it's going to eventually push it down. So... We finally have our halos installed. We had the finished product and here we go, y'all. Here's the finished product. As y'all can see, I've got the lug nut cover caps on. We've got the halos on. Now granted, you know, this is where the, heck the caps come. I had to actually cut those but it looks better than having the whole hub exposed all back in there. So, you know, it is what it is. But yes, there we are. We have another set of Aperia Technology Halos installed on this truck. The chrome caps make it look so much better. Um, so, this is my truck, y'all. Aperia Halos to the rescue. Another item added on to the Tourette's Trucker fleet, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.
chair She's got some nice long hair And you know that she's a bad chick All the boys stare, can't help it, it's a habit Clothes that she wears, short skirt and a jacket I just wanna get her all alone on a mattress I just wanna have it, I just gotta have it Rumors all around say her body is fantastic All natural, not a piece of fur is plastic Head to her toes, yeah they say that she's a lash Yeah the whispers all around say she has a reputation Don't believe it till I see it, so I want a demonstration And I've always learned it better